Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> you play. I'll figure it out. Well, well, this will be great. <laughs> Welcome to Daily Office. It's Pastor Kurt. And this is Elizabeth. This is Monday, January 11th, I think. Yeah, today's the I, 10th, right? Yeah, yeah to, Tomorrow's the 11th. And uh, this is our first recording back from vacation. Bye. So... Today we're going to be doing uh, Jacob's Ladder. We're talking about discipleship over the next few mm -hmm. weeks. And um, we're going to try and sort of stay within where the Bible studies are reading. And so we're going to, it'll be fun. Trust me. It'll be great. So today we're doing Jacob's Ladder. And it's going to be really interesting because... I learned just, it the Ohio way. Or the Presbyterian way. I don't know. We'll go with Presbyterian. <laughs> and I learned it the right way. Oh! <laughs> that was for you, Bama. Love you. <laughs> And Andy, that was me. Anyway. Anyway. We sing it differently than each other, so it ought to be interesting. It's going to be hilarious. So. No sheet music. Oh, I'm going to have you read the passage. You need to read this, this the, cool book here we call the Bible. I yeah. can read from that first. Yeah. Okay. Genesis chapter 28, verses 10 through 17. Jacob left Beersheba and set out for Haran. When he reached a certain place, he stopped for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones there, he put it under his head and lay down to sleep. He had a dream in which he saw a stairway resting on the earth with its top reaching to heaven, and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. There above it stood the Lord, and he said, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are lying. Your descendants will be like the dust of the earth. And you will spread out to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. All peoples on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I was not aware of it. He was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God, the mm -hmm. gate of heaven. Bethel. Mm -hmm. So, Bethel meaning the house of God. So, yeah. Mm. God's word for God's people. Let's say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. All right. So, let's see how this goes. I'll let you sing your version and then I'll and sing you mine. You just go for it and, and I'll follow. I'll try. <laughs> Follow. I'll try to follow. Oh. I don't follow very well. Okay, go for it. You think? And today we're talking about discipleship. What do you mean <laughs> following? Oh, right. I will try to set a good example and follow your lead. It's not gonna go well. <laughs> <laughs> So then, in our vows, we did oh, not do, hello dog. dog. Yes. The yeah. Top of the dog yes, head. There's the dog head. There's your great, your good dog. Your good. <laughs> so, your uh, he's coming up. All right. Incoming. There, incoming pup. There you go. So, anyway. The, uh, there he is. Hi. Yes, I'm a good dog. I'm a, yeah, that was great. Great. There we go. Okay. okay. So. Following. Uh, yes. He's great at that. So. In this story, um, Jacob, the grandson of Abraham, receives. <laughs> I wonder if he had a dog who turned to look at his face while he was talking to God. Anyway, <laughs> you're a goof. So, um, Jacob, the grandson of Abraham, receives the promise of God that God gave to Abraham that I will bless you and you will be a blessing. And I'm trying to look at my wife. I'm going to have to look at her in the screen because I can't see her through the dog's head. There she goes. Hi. So, but uh, he receives the blessing that you will be a blessing and through you, I will bless all the nations. Um, and that's really the purpose of discipleship is to show what God's world could be like, God's dream, God's vision, God's humanity, so that the whole of the world is blessed. 
And there's only two places in the Bible where this vision of an angel or a, sta or a stairway or a um, ladder connecting heaven and earth show up. One is here, and the second is in John's Gospel, in the first chapter, where Jesus says to Nathaniel, I think it was Nathaniel, um, that you will see angels ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. And this image of Jacob's ladder, of Jacob's stairway, the stairway to heaven, comes in again. And it's this image of heaven and earth being connected and God making contact with creation. And that's what we're supposed to be. We are now the temple of God. So this is all, all of it works together. But um, that we are climbing Jacob's ladder. We are the connection between heaven and earth. And as we mature as disciples, we get closer and closer to heaven. And people's experience of heaven should become closer and closer to reality. We're done singing. Because <laughs> I have a puppy. Um, every time they experience us, their experience of, should be that more and more of heaven. So, and heaven is having a puppy who snuggles you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we are glad you joined us. Yes, we are. So, good to be back. Good to be with you here on Daily Office. We will see you again tomorrow. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye.